Hello and welcome to Amalgam Presents the Dragon Ball Super episode for 124. Uh, I am your host, Karen Johnson, and today with me is Keenan Johnston. That's me. Nathaniel Redden. Hola. And Dan Kaminsky. Gonna be honest, didn't know what show we were doing until you started, so that's fine. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, uh, this episode was <laughs> called uh, The Fiercely Overwhelming Assault, Gohan's Last Stand. For a second there, I thought you were going to say fiercely overweight. <laughs> fiercely <laughs> overweight as soul. Like, was anyone no. fat? And then I thought Topo. Topo's Topo got some fat fists, but that's, that's about it. He's the rest of was kind of... Just eat steak for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, the episode starts off with uh, Goku and Vegeta versus Chiron. Really just fucking kind of underwhelming fight for, you know, yeah. the precursor. Like, like it's it's expecting. I was expecting a good fight, but it's not what the episode's about. It was just kind of a, hey, this is still happening. Let's get to the main meat. Yeah, this is like, this will be the equivalent of like what we wanted to see with Gohan, Piccolo, and the Namekians. Yeah. For a bit, and then they'll circle around, and then we'll get Ultra Instinct and everything. Mm. Then the show will be over. So, so I reckon Vegeta could get a possible Ultra Instinct form. I think he will, but not in his arc. Not yeah. in his Like, he got his transformation of the arc. Mm. Because, um, like, at this rate, like, yeah, he's going up against Jiren with his new form, but he's only doing it alongside Kaioken Goku. Yeah. I think we will get that final shot with Ultra Instinct Goku and Royal Blue Goku, uh, Vegeta. Is that what they're calling it? That's what I like the name of, because his hair is Royal Blue. So some people are calling that, and, you know... I thought it was, like, Cobalt more than royal blue from what I've been able to tell they've been saying it's a power up not a transformation it's a transformation Piccolo straight up says this is unlike what he was before that was Krillin wasn't it well, wasn't everyone it? was saying Krillin yeah. said it was his limit breaker form yeah and okay. Krillin Piccolo did say something and the Grand, Car- uh, Grand Priest said limit breaker form yeah yeah it form. Um, it's, it, it's in that weird ambiguous stage, stage where they've, they've given him the transformation but they haven't said this is my transformation, transformation. Like that, like, like that, that exposition dump that they usually do with the transformation, no. or have people in the stand saying, "Oh, that must be your true instinct." That's what I, and that's blah, how blah, I thought blah. this episode was going to start. But, but yeah, um, so Goku and Vegeta, they still punch into Jiren. They do their full power to assault. They push him back. They punch him. He's still confused at their tactics because there is no tactic. Um, they push him back a fair bit. Then they hit him with a final. Flash and a Command Mayor. Which I'm really annoyed about, because it wasn't a final Command Mayor. Yeah, they didn't fuse together and swirl. Well, they've done this attack before. Oh, no, yeah. they haven't. No, no they they've haven't. They've done the no. twirling attack together. Yeah, yeah they, they have. Together, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not as legitimate. But yeah. they... And, um... Grand Priest? Not Grand Priest, sorry. Uh, Grand Kai? Or Supreme Kai? One of them said that... No, that was a direct hit. There's no way you can get away from that unscathed. And... <laughs> Everyone's wrong again. Even like Universe 11 Supreme Kai was like, oh no. It's like, oh my god. Like, yeah, I'm it's getting, getting to the point where it's just like, oh my fucking god, how strong are they going to make Dune? Like, yeah, he's they've actually like gone Superman. so far. I mean, the way, yeah, the way they're making it is like, no matter how much these guys power up, like they do everything and throw everything at him. And then he's like, oh man, you guys, you're making me unlock my true power. And it's like, <laughs> can you fucking get well, there then? Even, even like way back in the Cell Saga when they were like doing grade two and stuff like that. Mm. Um, they had the upper hand for a little bit, like they they could damage Cell. Yeah. But at the moment with Jiren, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're getting there, and then it's like, oh wait, no, they didn't. Like he's literally Which still not hurt. Which really <laughs> kind of confuses me as to you know, Vegeta was in blue, and he hit him with a final flash, and it knocked him off his feet. Yeah. They got new. Well, Vegeta got a powered up form. Yeah. Goku went times 20, I'm guessing. Yeah, times 20. They said he um, Yeah, so times 20, and then they both hit him with a fuck-off big finishing move. Like, they both pulled out their finishing move, and nothing fucking happens. <laughs> same thing, he did the same thing against the Spirit Ball, which I know Goku's stronger now. Yeah, but you know... When like, Vegeta went with Final Flash in blue, it affected Jiren. But also Vegeta, like really put everything he had into that yeah, which obviously he couldn't have because he came back with a new form yeah he's like, I've got power but, <laughs> but like even then like he put all he had but he got a powered up form therefore his power should have been increased 
alongside Goku's Kamehameha and two direct hits, he should have at least been like, oh, my neck, ow, fuck. But no, he just like, um, explode the rocks that were some, for some reason surrounding him. And he powers up he and then... He disintegrated them, because yeah. it looks like to me he just pushed them up and I was expecting them to come back down, but like yeah, nothing happened. Yeah, they just... Nothing happened. He's, dis- he, uh, that. he's disintegrated the strongest material across all universes. Which is essentially I just pebbles. the writers have forgotten. By just... <laughs> yeah. I, They've got to have, because have. like... They like they even stated at the start, it's like, what was it supposed to be like seven times stronger than the universe seven yeah well, yes. it was like something catching yeah it was like stronger than what gohan had yeah. to break anyway yeah catch it. and he didn't break it oh okay he right. broke the sword no oh, that's right by hitting it but like still like, still like he didn't even break that shit and yeah. now they're just like freeze the death beam oh there's a hole in the ground yeah yeah, yeah and like I think they kind of just forgot that, and I think they were just destroying the arena, so he still got those uh, Dragon Ball Z vibes of fighting in a wasteland and stuff like that. Was it like Hale who started? Was she the first one to start tearing up the battlefield? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was. She was the first. No, she wasn't because she like threw people through rocks and stuff. That were all okay. Then. Yeah, no, it was just trash from the start because everyone just remember in like the first, like the third episode, it was just. You, you, saw <laughs> you saw the arena. You saw the arena, and it was a just of people were going. Like, and it was just, just like an entire, like the, the entire was arena was just yeah. flat. Because it all had, had those had like big fucking blasts going off, covering from, it. Yeah, you had the big players from Universe Seven that just kind of fucked off, and then the rest of them kind of stuck together mm. around the center. Oh yeah, no, and that, then yeah. after that, like a couple of big players showed their true power. And broke it a bit, and it's just gotten worse from there. Yeah, because mm, everyone's been just. Oh, I'm gonna one up that guy. How much like more impactful would it have been if like they didn't break? If the stage didn't break until the special. Yeah, no, like, that that would have been fucking cool. Like, but yeah, you know, I'm not. I'm not too worried about the stage because you know the gods of destructions broke it. Yeah, what they, what the I'm unsure about is how there are pillars. Like, it's not like they've put a bunch of holes into the ground. It's that they've raised some things. No, they've, I think they've just deepened it. There's no way, because then if that's the case, the thing has further to fall, which means more time on it. Oh, I, I don't know. Don't... So don't give me... Completely don't give me... The center. Don't give me started on some pseudoscience fucking geography of that's fucking I mean. Dragon like, Ball Super. Like, when, when Go- yeah, when Goku threw that fucking... Um, Topography. Top of it's got nothing to do with this. <laughs> Fuck you. geography. Geology, sorry. Um, like, when Goku threw that spirit bomb, he was standing on top of the pillar. Mm. When Kefla was going off with her fucking bullshit. Yeah, yeah she was on she top was of on a pillar. Yeah, I, how they've raised the ground. I guess Destroying they, it, yeah. Maybe raising it. pushed it. Oh. How? It's just... It's key. key. You know, well, like <laughs> elevated it from the don't bottom. ask me. <laughs> this is just the animators just wanting to do whatever the fuck. It's, yeah. it's, it's, I yeah. understand that like yeah. they've 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 done it purely for entertainment. Like I'm fine with that. I just I I like to logic. have a bit of an explanation. I miss Dragon Ball Z logic. There wasn't much of it, but no. it was there. <laughs> like when there was there, it was like, oh, that makes sense. And then Akira Toriyama would be like, uh, sorry, uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it what would make a, it would make a little bit of sense, but you're like. Like, oh yeah. Uh, Super just makes it no sense. At least, at least there's an explanation. Yeah, an explanation. It's but, like, no, fuck lols. It, dropping off into a different thing, because, you know, they just kind of do the whole stand there, square off against Jiren, and everything else happens. Uh, and that everything else is, um, Frieza and Dispo have a really fast fight. Oh, I think we did that. What? Yeah. They become fast friends? No, no they, they, they they don't, don't like each other. Okay. That's, that's, not, that's the reason they're fighting and why say, you don't usually fight your friends. Oh, well, Goku fights all of his friends. Yeah, well, but he fights them until they become friends. I was gonna friends. say, yeah, they, they become friends <laughs> afterwards. You must oh. friend yet? <laughs> <laughs> fucking feed you till you love me. <laughs> I wish all the boys in the valley were like that. <laughs> I mean some of them are. Yeah. And he's like, I wish I could be friends with the people that beat me up. <laughs> I don't have so many friends. <laughs> <laughs> My thing was, I wanted to see fight where they just fucking punch the shit out of each other and then just walk away like friends. All right, let's go to feet freeze anyway. That happens <laughs> yeah. sometimes, but it the, the, big, the big Maori man. Yeah, but they're. I'm just like, this. well, mate, what'd you say? It's like, oh, I didn't say anything, bro. And then they punch each other and it's like, oh, buy your beer, hey. <laughs> 
Sorry for punching you. That was a bit. Uh, uh, that is like, sorry. They're just like, oh man, thanks for that beer, bro. They don't even get a chance to do that in the valley anymore. It was like one hit. Oh, security! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, but um, one punch. So yeah, <laughs> you know, um, Freezer's keeping up with Dispo, and he's so fast, but he just slowly starts to get a lot faster. Um, Dispo uses a thing called Circle Flash, which is just essentially galactic donuts, but he just isn't in the same universe and didn't realize that uh, it was already a thing. Did galactic donuts explode? Yeah, yeah, they they compressed. They compressed until they just popped because the person wouldn't crush anymore. Right. But uh, yeah, and then um, so yeah, apparently it did some damage to Freezer, which you know. That's damage, is, damage. Damage <laughs> is about a, a, a two second thing in this. Like, it's, oh no, I'm really hurt and I'm fucking powered up even bigger now. Like, nothing really changes. But, um. I've just had a bit of a theory, but continue. Yeah. So, Freezer then is like, hey, I'll make you a deal. I'll help you destroy Universe 11 if, uh. Seven. Seven, seven sorry. Uh, Universe 7. If you resurrect me with the Super Dragon Balls once we're done. There's no and guarantee there. There's no guarantee. He's making the biggest fucking gamble of his <laughs> yeah. life. Yeah. Or his like, future life. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. But like, yeah. you know, dis- Dispo's like, um... Dispo disses Freezer. No. Dispo I don't make... Disapproves. Yeah. He, he's like, don't make deals with evil. Because Justice Boy. To be fair, though, like, and then, how does he know he's evil? Yeah, <laughs> this one knows nothing about Freezer. So when Freezer said, "Well, Freezer, like Freezer said, you have no right to call me evil." He's just like, true. he's not wrong. Um, <laughs> Freezer did like team up with Frost for a bit, and then like do a super double cross, yeah, triple cross. I don't know how that went down. I forget. It doesn't make you evil. It makes you conniving. It makes you yeah, a yeah, cunning little fuckface. What's the opposite of cunning? Um, Cunty. <laughs> it's retarded. I, I think, think so. so. <laughs> From Dragon Ball Abridged. Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> Missed that one. Yeah. When was that in? It was like episode like three or four. Like what? What's the episode of Cunning? Ah, oh, Retarded. Yeah. Is that something like that? Oh, Raditz says it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Something, something like that. that. But anyway. Yeah. Um, cool. Dispo says, nah. Freezer's like, well, fuck ya. Goes golden. And then starts to do some actual fucking damage. And everyone's like, oh. He, he he transformed and he got he got stronger and this was like what? I had something hidden up my sleeve it was the plot <laughs> <laughs> did you mean Jaren? <laughs> so yeah then um Dispo's like um you're really hurting me I'd appreciate it if you didn't I'm gonna start glowing purple now and use my super light speed attack technique or whatever like that super maximum, maximum light, light speed, speed mode yeah. uh, whatever let the speed yeah and then uh his secret final technique and then Zeno's as soon as they release a transformation that sounds lame you know that person's gonna die <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they have not put any effort into them at all they're just like Words. Oh, yeah, this is yeah. Just, just that, describe what just happened. Just, <laughs> just describe well, what they happened. Did it with the trio of the dangers. Hmm. Universe, what was it? Universe two. No. Yeah, oh. tri- triangle of danger. Yeah, were, like the Supreme Kai of their universe was just going off, and everyone's like, "These are the worst fucking names." And then they died like two episodes later. <laughs> yeah. So. And then Zeno is like, "Oh, I want to watch the fight. Oh, it's too far." So he uses slow mo on the god pad, which is still too fast. He can't see shit. So, Grand, Grand Priest, Priest is like, I'm yeah. going to make a better one for next time. Yeah. And that's some foreboding <laughs> shit. Yeah. yeah. Which makes makes you think, like... Is this um, Universal Tournament thing going to just be a reoccurring thing? I fucking okay. hope not. I do. This has been too long. Like, possibly, it's been a fun ride. Yeah. But, you know, when you get to, like, to the end of the roller coaster and you're just like, I just want this to fucking end. I feel ill. I mean, don't get me wrong, like... I, I want it to happen, but not for as long as this one has gone on for. Yeah. Um, but, like, if they do that, I feel like they could open up to a lot more things. Like, yeah. not the same team. They could have a different team entirely. Yeah. Um, so, like, when Trunks and Goten asked Vegeta if they could join, he said, come back to me when you can fight by yourselves. Yeah. So Instead of just that, that would open up to, like, them as teenagers with Oob. As well, Majin Buu. Majin Buu. Hopefully, if he doesn't have a fucking three months sleep, 
So oh, yeah. I'm so sick of booing. I want booing. Boo and now. super is fucking annoying because they're like, oh yeah, boo, and then he's just like, yeah, oh. You yeah. have a fucking sleep. <laughs> like, I get it, but like... He's just a fucking like, mad narco. He is the Winnie the Pooh of the goddamn universe. He's just like, Oh, it's important. I'm going to pass out from Isn't my cup. Yeah, <laughs> Winnie, Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, but he just looks like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I mean, hopefully we can also have like a badass pan. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, a really cool pan that was if like... If they really wanted to win, they could bring in launch again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But like, she could yeah, just no, go yeah. on a mad tear with some cool guns. Chiaotzu. <laughs> Chiaotzu. He can jump on people's backs and blow them fuck up. He could. Like that, this would, that would be the best way to like... Why didn't they have Chiaotzu actually? Introduce the next... Because is fucking... Chiaotzu. Chiaotzu. Yeah, I know, but like, he can literally control people. <laughs> he could just be like, walk off the fucking stage, boy. <laughs> can he control people? Yeah, he can, he can like, get in people's heads. Yeah, but he's shit at maths. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Krillin beat him in Dragon Ball. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. He's like, what's, what's two plus two? Plus two? two? And he's like, oh, uh, and he's like, bop. And he, didn't, he couldn't use his powers, and then Krillin just fucking beat him. Bopped him. Well, True story. Dragon Ball was so fun. Yeah. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> With fucking Krillin I loved and it, though. Roshi's it was the best fight where they're like, we didn't see what happened. What, what happened? And they're like, oh, okay, well, yeah. I threw Rocky and he played Sisyphus. <laughs> yeah, that was great. I, was like, what the I love fuck Dragon Ball. Ball. Uh, I love yeah, so, so they don't do that in these fights, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> be, or they, if they do, we it's too they, it's just, Dragon it's, Ball was the best for character development mm, by far. Yeah, yeah, and for like stupid Definitely. stuff. But anyway, yeah. Um, so yeah, Freezer's getting a bit out of his element here. He's transformed. He's still not quite fast enough. So Gohan just runs, kicks fucking Dispo's arm. Which looked painful. <laughs> like, it spun him the fuck back, and he was like, ow! But he seemed to be alright. Yeah, he was like, should have hit his leg. Would have yeah, fucked him up. Shattered his kneecap. <laughs> See how well the gimp can run when he can't run. Who grabbed his fist? Was it, was it Gohan? Gohan? Gohan grabbed his fist. He should have fucking point. broke his arm then. Yeah. So he should have been it. That should be the Dragon Ball Z fighting that we have not. I know, that, if this was in the old time slot, like, we, like, Gohan would have broke his arm. Yeah, absolutely. Gohan would have fucking torn or, his arm or off. broke his leg. Like yeah. that. That was like how would, like it would have been cool to see. Like, like fuck me, Vegeta's arm. Like he had both of his arms broken by Android eighteen. Yeah, yeah. Like I miss. I want to see Goku was crushed. Like I every see, bone was crushed. I want to see Goku do some Dark Knight Returns like, like, shit, where, where he is not strong enough to take on Jiren, but he is strong enough to break some fucking bones. So he's just going to wrestle him and shatter all of his limbs so he cannot do it. Remember that? In yeah, but that like... Return. Yeah, but like Superman was weakened because he just got blown apart. No, not Superman, the fucking mutant fuckhead. Oh, you mean that fight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he just crawls around in a mud pit and breaks all of his arms because the dude's like way stronger than him and younger and faster. It's the animated movie. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and he just breaks all of his arms so he can't move and like his legs and shit. And he's back. Well, I was thinking. So I want to see Goku just like. He's like, well, I can't, like, beat you into submission. I can't fight you in your own game. So I'm just going to shatter you. Like, just break your arms in, like, tactical ways that you can't it's use. It's a weird thing to want to see. <laughs> I want them to get brutal again. I want yeah. there to be blood. They're never going to be that. Is I it, want it, blood! <laughs> it's not something you want to get haven't, We haven't actually seen any blood. No, no, we haven't. We haven't. Not since the... It's fucking bullshit. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. I yeah, want GT them to... is gay. I <laughs> want <laughs> them to be like... Well, GT stands for gay times, okay? <laughs> Golden gay times. Well, no, that's GGT. <laughs> GT was part of the reason I drink. <laughs> Good old <Yeah>. times. <laughs> Um, but yeah, then, yeah, Gohan's like, Oi, Frieza, I swear to God, if you betray me, I'll fucking knock you off the stage. Ironic. Yeah. We're getting to that, we're getting to that. Um, Gohan and Frieza verse. Dispo, um, Gohan says, Oi, restrict his field of movement, he's too quick, we can't catch him. So Frieza sends up his hands and puts him in a cage of death beams. And um, Goku kicks Dispo. Oh, sorry, Gohan kicks Dispo into it, and it apparently just zaps them. I thought Death Beam would be a little more effective than a fucking bug zapper. Yeah, that's what I know. You're not wrong. 
Um, um, but yeah. yeah, and then he's like, oh, okay, shit. And then Go, uh, Gohan gets knocked into a one, and then he disposes like, haha, I got you now. Swings a punch, he catches his fist, and he's just like, ah, uh, nah, this is my job to kick the shit out of you and knock you off the stage. I'm gonna do my job. And then Freezer's essentially going, hurry up and do your fucking job. I'm losing all of my energy here. This is very taxing. Um, and then, you know, eventually Freezer loses his grip. Which is a weird phrasing. Like, yeah. I, don't I think know he just lost his mental grip. Yeah, like I get what they're going for, but like... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, he loses his grip and then um, Dispo is like, haha, I'm going to just knock uh, Gohan the fuck out and I'm going to start sprinting around again. And then Gohan's just like, nah, putting you in a full Nelson. <laughs> yeah, I know what it is, but I was making a... I know. The reference to... But, like, Full Nelson's an actual move. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, you fucking nerd. You're a nerd. Um, and then, yeah, he puts him in a headlock, and then he's like, Freezer, fucking knock us both out. And Freezer's like, yeah, right, I'll lead her. I'll knock you out. And then, for some reason, does this big fuck-off blast, which if he could do that, why couldn't he keep the cage up longer? Which he really loses fucking... his grip, not run out of energy. Big yeah, I, I know, but he lost his grip. Jump up and do it again, fuckhead. You're not wrong. <laughs> like, <laughs> kind of, oh, yeah. No, and then, he, yeah, Freezer knocks both of them out. And then we really see, like, the, the team mentality divide. Whereas uh, Dispo beats himself up and no one says a word to him. And everyone on Universe 7 is like, good job, you, you, yeah. you lasted this long. You did really fucking well. I think well. Gohan has like the second amount of eliminations for Universe 7. Yeah, he, he's, he was a main. First. Vegeta. Vegeta knocked everyone out, basically. Yeah, he's been knocking fuck tons of people off. And then, yeah. He's got like one, two. So. Technically three with the three with Vegeta. So he's got like as much as Krillin did. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's because Goku's then, just been like, I want to fight strong guns. Yeah. Oh, I got hurt. I want to fight people out of my element. <laughs> so how, how long was this um, tournament for? 40 minutes? <laughs> Some 48 minutes. 48. Oh, pretty yes. So in 48 minutes. <laughs> one full year. <laughs> they both got, yeah. They've both gotten one fucking transformation and they've just gotten like stronger 10 times more. Yeah. Zenkai. Than what they were. Zenkai. I suppose, yeah. But like, I, I think Toriyama's forgotten about Zenkai. Like, it's only the nerds that remember. I mean, Zenkai, It's just writing. Like, well, helping. Zenkai was just a writing plot. Just like, it's, it's helping him now. This way, yeah. Yeah. So, I guess. But like, how do they heal so fucking fast? <laughs> like, but speaking of 48 minutes, we only have <laughs> six left and there are seven episodes left of this arc. Really? Oh, you're kidding me. Nope. No. And so the final episode is episode 131, which we'll talk about on our podcast. Have we got, show. Have we got the um, the date, the names for them? Uh, no, no, not come out probably. A couple yeah, not that days. we're aware of. I'm pretty sure they but are out actually. In the next, next episode, episode, Advent of God, Advent of the God of, of Destruction. destruction. That's a fucking weird. Advent of the Your God reading is getting really Topo. good, Karen. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Topo. <laughs> There is only overwhelming power. Golden Freezer in 17 vs. Topo. Topo transforms, maybe, and he just gets his shirt shot to shit. And he does that cool Ultra Instinct back That's some movement. Good, uh, alliteration there. Yeah, shot to shit. I like that. Yeah, shot, yeah. Shot, shot to shit. Yeah. yeah. 17's getting eliminated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he said last time, and Gohan got knocked out. Yeah. So maybe Freezer will kill him. What if 17 no, Freeze is a plot point. To be fair, when we talked about. Oh wait, no. Wasn't we did say Gohan was going to be in the final three. Well, we yeah, all, we, we all, ages, we we all agreed on that. And we, oh was, boy, were we wrong. <laughs> I was thinking like we did our predictions. A lot of them were off because like we presumed Super was going to go for the whole year. Yeah. But yeah. like, so they're it's, all out of whack. But some of them could still happen. But, but because yeah. of the movie. Well, yeah. I mean. The movie's not going to be canon. Leave it on well, a cliffhanger. Don't, don't even finish the like tournament of power. They just leave it. And then <laughs> I feel like it can't be. Mm. What? Why? Because they haven't done it. Like they haven't had movies to be canon in the past. If they wanted to do that, why didn't they just say Battle of Gods and Re- Resurrection of F was canon? And because they, they wanted to make it. They wanted to make a series. But why not just go from there? Because, because they had no writing at that point. I think. Yeah. I think like they, they just bought themselves time while giving themselves yeah. actual money so they can make gooder like. 
gooder, <laughs> better quality of animation because suppose, they wanted the money. They, I feel like they could do the exact same thing with this. I feel like they could make it not canon and make like a mini series about the exact same thing. See that? I, uh, we'll and talk about it on our. I next. think I think it'll be canon. We'll, we'll talk, talk about, about it on our final week. Episode. Oh yeah, but we'll probably probably get. But it until it. then, feel free to check out our other shows such as Pizza Time. We just did episode ten. Um, and the Amalgam Show, where we just talk about pop culture things that we care about. And this week is discussing the ending of Dragon Ball Super. Mm. <coughs> and, uh, yes, yes, if you have any questions, please comment below or email amalgamshow at gmail.com. And if you enjoyed this, leave a like. If you um, want to see more, subscribe. And if you want to be one of the first people to see it, hit the bell and you'll get notifications when we post so you don't miss an episode. Join um, the notification squad. Hashtag notification squad. Like Ring that, that bell. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you did dislike it, make sure to <laughs> double tap the dislike to show us just how much you disliked it. Double tap. Yeah, double, double tap. tap. That would. That would. Shh. Don't tell that. On that note. Until then, uh, we will see you guys next week. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.